I'm going to share to you something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. As you all know, if you're a subscriber here in my channel, I've been talking about this favorite author of mine. She was the wife of Jim Elliot, who was one of the missionaries who went to uh, the Alcos to, of course, preach the gospel, but unfortunately they were speared to death. And up until now, they were considered to be heroes of faith. Um, and this favorite author of mine, she grew stronger, more faithful since then, since that incident, and she has written a lot of books. Some of her books, if not my favorites, are my all-time favorites, and today I am so excited to share with you my Elizabeth Elliot book collection. Let's start with the ones that I have finished reading already. So. First one is this book. This is actually my favorite among the books that I have read from her. And this is called Discipline, The Glad Surrender. Um, I bought this from Thrift Books. It is still in good condition. It's like on uh, $6, I think. And as you can see, I have notes there. I think if you can see it, I've underlined some of my favorite quotes. And it talks about a lot of disciplines, discipline to your mind, body, possessions, time, and feelings. And I've been convicted and rebuked by this book many times. And second one is Passion and Purity. And this one I read like years ago before I was married. It was recommended to, be, to me by my sister-in-law, Ate Rachel. I also wrote a lot of things in here because I read this before I was married and I could relate that courtship stage, you know. Third, let's have another favorite of mine, Through Gates of Splendor. This is the um, biography, I should say, of the five or six, I forgot, missionaries. What I really love this about this book is how courageous these men were and how dedicated they were in you know, helping the expansion of the kingdom of God and how they will die for their Savior and also how their wives are really great support and how they mirror God's love towards other people. So, this is a thick book. It took me months to finish this because it's a narrative type and Sometimes I get bored on detail. Next book is this, Trusting God in a Twisted World. This is just a collection of meditations or essays by Elizabeth Elliot about different topics. And I really enjoyed it because it doesn't just focus on one thing. I got a lot of uh, things from this book, applications, you know, how we are going to work as Christians in this dark world. So, yeah, such a good book. So we're going to the ones that I'm currently reading. So this one is A Chance to Die. This is a biography, autobiography of, no, a biography of Amy Carmichael. I think she's a favorite author of Elizabeth Elliot. She's also one of the books that Jim Elliot read during the Operation Alpha, I think, or before he went there. And it's such a good book. We got a glimpse of what's happening during the missionary days of Amy Carmichael and yeah how she jumped from one place to another following the uh, calling of the Lord in, in her life and how she surrendered everything to him I'm almost halfway there so yeah I think there's a lot of interesting things to come another one is also one of my treasured books this is devotedly this is actually written by her daughter valerie elliot shepherd and i was so blessed enough to get this from valerie herself she sent me this book together with the book that i'm going to share you after this and she wrote a little um note there for me how sweet and just very generous heart and i I'm just so happy that I got this 
for free also because it's so hard to find this in the Philippines and if I'm going to buy this abroad it will take me thousands of money to just get this and I'm really excited to read this because I know this is going to be as good as Passion and Purity because and now I think it's much better because it has all the letters they have when they were courting until they were married so the book that I told you before that Elizabeth, uh, Valerie gave me together with that book is A Path Through Suffering she also wrote a note here yeah so sweet I haven't read this one yet uh, I'm busy reading other stuff so yeah and this copy of Bob has a price tag is also one that I treasure the most because dun, 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 dun. yeah it is signed by Elizabeth Elliot herself I didn't expect it to be signed since I got it from an online seller on Facebook and she didn't indicate also if it was signed or not so I was really happy about it yeah and I got it for a cheap price another one that I got for free is The Liberty of Obedience by Elizabeth Elliot this was just a freebie from my online order it's a tiny book but I bet there's a lot of things I've learned from it and look how cute the library card at the back here another tiny tiny book is this God's Guidance a Slow and Certain Light I don't think this is the full um, length of this novel or book I bet it is just like a snippet from the actual book but uh, yeah this is a good addition if I'm just wanting to read if I just want to read a short book from her I bet there's a lot of meditations here also that I can use another that I can wait to read is this Shadow of the Almighty this I think is the biography of her husband Jim Elliot and it's an old book I used to have a hard copy of this book but I gave it away because it has no dust jacket <laughs> I don't know why but if a book is missing something if it has no dust jacket or missing a page I will find another one that has complete pages or has a dust jacket or much better if it's paperback because it's lighter <laughs> yeah speaking of Jim Elliot I also have the journal journals of Jim Elliot Shinari Martyr Man of God but this is another biography of his it's in mint condition I got it from thrift books also thank you to my auntie Gina who helped me you know order from there because it's from the US and another book that I really treasure is Let Me Be a Woman by um, Elizabeth Kors. Let Me Be a Woman. I actually have two copies of this book. Ta -da. Got this from Thrift, Thrift Books. I ordered a paperback, but they sent me a mass market paperback. And I really have a hard time reading from small books. And they get me so bored easily. So I got this from an online seller also and I like this cover much better than this one so yes this book is her letters for her daughter Valerie I can learn a lot of things from this one because it talks about marriage a lot of stuff about a woman so yeah I'm think, still thinking if I'm going to give this to someone special to a friend or I'm going to sell it but who knows I might keep both of them Another book from her is The Music of His Promises. I think this is a compilation of essays. Too. Yeah, you could use this for devotion or just a small reading time in the afternoon. Another book about love. This one is Quest for Love Through Stories of Passion and Purity. I guess this is a sequel to Passion and Purity. There's a 
a lot of questions there. I think this is for applications, Bible study group with women. Another one is a lamp for my feet. The Bible lights, the Bible's light on for the living. So this is also a collection of just meditations that you can use for devotions once you're done with um, the previous one. And also we have here a Keep a Quiet Heart. This one was mentioned during one of our conferences the reason why I grabbed this book because I listened to that message it was such a good good message I think it's about serenity you can find it on YouTube it's still available there you can listen to her podcast also they are full of substance very helpful for us women or just Christians in general also we got this secure in the everlasting arms this is such in a new condition I don't know if what happened to this one I got it for a cheap price because the seller of this one is my friend I think not a friend I always buy stuff from her especially books so I gave she gave me a discount and last but not the least we have shaping of a Christian family now this is uh, one of the useful books in my library because I am gravitating towards books that talk about bringing your family into the light of God's grace and guidance so yes can we read this one that's it ladies I hope you enjoy me bubbling about all these books I really really love Elizabeth Elliot she has inspired me in so many ways from being a single lady to a wife to a mother and I know I don't have all of her books yet because like I said, they were so hard to find, so it's going to be book hunting for me. But, I, but I've always believed that books are blessings. They give us knowledge, and through that knowledge, we can apply them into our lives by God's grace. And as a mother, I want to impart all the knowledge that I will learn from these books to my children, so that they can also share the joy and the love of the Lord to their friends and to the people around them. So, yeah, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one. Bye!